Welcome back everybody to Super Mega Baseball. We continue this young season here today with game number two. But as I mentioned to close out last video, I had to do some stuff with the staff. And I did hire Virgil Conway, and we have his juicing program now in place. It is helping out Leon Daniels. He's now got plus 11 power, his arm is stronger, and his fielding has gone down. So I can't wait to watch his next drop pop up. But I think I also gave him this, uh, when did I give him this man with tusk bat? I can't remember. But I did, like, I gave... I got a new coach, and I was able to give Maurice Pratt a boost to his fielding, so now it's 19. It's a little bit better. A couple more um, additions here. I did help out with some coach slots on the pitchers, so I think uh, Cannon has this plus three accuracy, plus three mojo ahead of his start today. You know, that's Johnson who's starting today, and I gave him this one, plus nine junk and minus two mojo. So anyway, guys, that is it for the staff talk to begin this episode. Let's get into the actual game now. You guys know I like mixing up the lineup a bit. So here you go, a new leadoff hitter, and again, it's Jonathan Stark. So it's new, but it's like new again. It's like his fifth time having a chance. And we'll see if he can actually hang on to it this time. But we're pitching at home for the first time this season. And now we get to see Maurice Pratt's boosted fielding on display. And I guess I uh, would have had to dive for that one or something. But we had a successful week one for the first time. Or game one. I shouldn't say week. But we had a successful first game for the first time in the series. We actually won. A 3-1 game with Andy McKenzie pitching a complete game. And now we'll see what is in store for Andrew Johnson, who has been, I think, mostly good in this series, but he and Cannon both had some trouble down the stretch last year, and the losing streak was both bad hitting and bad pitching. There's a strikeout for Andrew. Was that Geronimo James? And now it's Joseph Trunk lifting one to right. Boyd watches it slice foul, but he makes the catch. Out number two. I did not think he would catch up to it. Here is Mario Mustachio with a runner at first. And there's a grounder to Pratt. There's that new 19 fielding. And Pratt's batting second, so two speedsters there at the top just trying to get somebody on base for Lance Adams, who did not get a hit last episode, but this guy did. I think Starks had three, correct? He was very good, and that was not a good swing. I got underneath it too far, and just pop it up. Now we have Maurice Pratt, who had a leadoff single last episode. I believe that was his only hit. That pitch a little too high. This is Meow Bubkins. We saw her pitch like not that long ago, actually. Within the last five episodes, I'd say. We played the, this team toward the end of last year. And now Lance Adams. Oh, man. That was the that was the pitch to swing at, wasn't it? Yeah, now I'm too late. Getting three power on it. I can't be slumping here with Lance. He's the like face of the franchise here as far as the offense goes. And hey, we battle back to make it a full count. And Adams grounds it to second. He's 0 for 5. What's happening to Lance? Is he okay? So now we're hitting again. Or pitching again. I'm sorry. Dano Yoshida leads off and lifts this one to center. I do not like these well hit outs. Because eventually, they're not going to be outs. Well, they're going to be out. Of the park. So here's a screwball on the inside corner that Borgnar lifts over the dugout. And now we're going to go inside with the slider. And got him swinging. I actually thought that was going to be strike three. So <laughs> I was prepared for a strikeout call there. We have a two and two count here. Can't find the corner. So we're going to go with the change up. And there we go. Another strikeout for Andrew Johnson. I don't think we had that many strikeouts in the first season of the series, but in year two, we definitely did, as that one just goes foul. Here's a two-seamer, and that is lined. I, I thought it was. I guess it was a chopper. We get out three. So, back to batting, and we have Corey Boyd, who had a hit last episode. It was a double off the wall, and there is a nice souvenir. Man, come on. Two strikes. 
And I shouldn't have swung, but at least I made contact. There's one down, and now Maurice Manning. Another guy batting 250. We had a lot of one for fours in game one. Wow, that's going deep. And that was in on the hands, jammed him a bit, but that's just the power on display. Make contact there with the barrel, and it's gone. Strike one to Flash Jackson. So he was the guy I moved down, and he puts it in the air as well. That was a very quick and forgetful inning. Into the third now. I think we only have one hit combined. And that's a line out to Lance. Here's the pitcher, Bubkins. She has good contact and makes a good swing to hit that single to center. So here's Bunterson who led the game off with a hit. And can we turn two? There is one. And we do get the second. A quick half inning of work. And here is Leon Daniels. He also has no hits on the year. Is Leon getting his first hit before Lance? That wouldn't be cool. We're still also waiting for the first homer of this young season. As Leon makes good contact, but we'll ground out. Darren Rose. Now look at the contact. I've dropped his power. His contact is now like Jonathan Stark's territory. And there's a single. If we can make Darren Rose a little bit higher average contact hitter, that's going to be very good for our offense. Here's Andrew Johnson now, who does not have very good hitting ratings. And Johnson lines out. I thought it might get past him. Here's Starks now, two down. And Starks grounds back to Bubkins, and that's it for the third. So, Geronimo James leads off the fourth inning here as we're still scoreless, and that's a leadoff single. Now, in the game one of the season, every run was scored in the fifth inning. It was a 3-1 to one finish. Here's Joseph Trunk following one away. Fastball back to Johnson, and we're going to go for two again, and we get it. Back-to-back -back double plays. Well, not back-to-back, -back, obviously, but you get my drift. Come on, get there! You can't win lose that race there, Brett. You're the fastest guy on the team, I think. So, they have one hit. We have one hit, I believe. And Pratt leads us with a liner. Lance Adams up now. His sixth at-bat of the season. Come on, Lance. Adams down the line, but foul. So, we still got the juice in the bat. Adams in the gap this time! Okay! He showed some potential on that first swing and then has his first extra base hit and first hit of the year. I believe he was first in extra base hits in the league last season. And that brings up Corey Boyd. Oh man, down the line. Let's drive him in. Two strikes here to Boyd. And he... That... What?! How do you pop it up? It was almost like on the ground. So now it's Maurice Manning, who had many clutch RBIs for us last year. Here's a chance with Lance. Ah, uh, jumping it there a little too early. Two and two with two down. And there's a sky ball in the gap. Again. He gets underneath it. Makes a little bit of noise out there, but it's caught. Fifth inning now. As this game is pretty much cruising right along. And Yoshida hits his second base hit. I believe it's his second base hit. Can we have another double play ball here? Back to the pitcher. Man, that's that's the best pitch ever. I love that curveball curve in the outside corner. And the slider is popped. And here's Leon Daniels. Now, I dropped his fielding, but he makes the catch there. Got to be prepared with Leon now. Now we're looking for that double play ball. Here's the fork ball. Maybe we'll go for the strikeout instead. Do we get it, too? So no double plays this inning. Can we just keep it scoreless? There we go. Just off the corner. And now the fork ball for strike two. How should I strike him out here? 
Should we go curveball outside corner? Oh, he's ahead of it too. Now we challenge him with the heat. Got him! Nice job, Andrew. Forget how many strikeouts McKenzie had last episode. I think it was like nine. Or maybe I'm off. I don't know. Flash Jackson up now. Wait, that first pitch was a strike? Really? That was inside to me. Up the middle, a base hit for Flash. Let's see if we can get our offense going in the fifth like we did last game. Star points are way down in this episode so far. And Daniels hits that one foul. Come on, Leon. Oh, man, I thought that would go inside. Daniels pulls it deep to left. Good boy. That almost hit the water. Leon Daniels has our first homer of the year. No doubt about it. That was just like... Spoilers, if you haven't watched my last uh, episode of Conquest and MLB. Maybe skip forward 10 seconds. But that was just like my Devin Mazzarocco home run in that video. Okay, it's a spoiler-free zone now. Two to nothing here for the B-Wolves. And another base hit by Darren Rose. I'm liking this contact boost. I got him. We put three on the board in the fifth last time around. And here is Andrew Johnson. And, oh no, it's a liner. And, wow, a double play. I was thinking, like, maybe I should sacrifice Bunt. Or maybe I can just ground him to second. Well, that didn't play out very well. Oh, man. Ahead of it. Come on, Starks. That time it gets through. There we go. Starting to get some hits. And this takes us to Maurice Pratt. Pratt in the air to center. I just can't believe I have Lance Adams batting either three or four every game. And just the way things play out, he never has these chances for RBIs. Like the guy with the batting title like wasn't even that high in RBIs last year. He had the, like the most extra base hits. It was stupid. Buttons Bunterson fouls one off. Ooh. Got him to hit that Starks way again. Two down. So Johnson's doing fine in terms of stamina as Geronimo James looks at strike one. The four-seamer inside out to Manning. And he's going to make the play. So to the bottom of the sixth now. We have not scored in any inning other than the fifth this year. And we have Lance Adams leading us off. Come on, Lance. Adams pulls it to right. That gets down for another extra base hit. He saw starting off 0 for 5, but now he's 2 for 7. He's in good shape again. Both have been doubles. Corey Boyd now. Boyd to center and deep. It is off the wall, and I wasn't sure if that would be caught, so I didn't want to send Lance to home. So runners at the corners now for Maurice Manning. Not going to swing at that. Or that. Alright, 2-0 count. Perfect. And are you kidding me, Maurice? Very underneath that ball. And you know what? I'm bringing Lance home. Sacrifice fly for Maurice Manning. Flash Jackson up now. And another pop-up. That was not very far underneath it. And I guess I can't call it a pop-up. It was a deep fly. So, two outs, runner at first, and Leon Daniels. Two RBIs on his home run. What can he do here in the sixth? A multi-homer day, perhaps? Oh, man, backing him off, 3-0. And then finding the zone. Oh, you guys know what I had in mind. You guys already know. Daniels to center, but it hangs in the air too long and is caught. But now, you're really seeing us get the offense opened up. Some extra base hits in there. We're up three to nothing. Joseph Trunk is up to lead off the seventh. I'm not sure how long I'll have Andrew Johnson pitch this game. And he gets the strike out there on the slider. Mario Mustachio. 
Another first pitch strike. And then a really good swing to put that into left. So they have a one-out single, and now Dano Yoshida, who grounds it up the middle. Back-to-back -back hits now, and this is where you got to start thinking about the bullpen. Who's up? Rolf Bordenar, hitless on the day. And again, their first pitch swinging. But this one hit to flash is the second out. Can we get the runner out at third? No, we can't. So runners at the corners. Can we get out of this little seventh inning jam here? There we go. No swing that time. And a pop-up. Leon, if you drop it, don't. Thank you. Alrighty, bottom of the seventh inning now as Rose is two for two. Can he stay perfect on the day? Nope. Liner to short. A little bit in front of that one. You know what? I'm going to call on a substitution now. I want to give uh, Dominic Carter in that bat. Very good ratings for a bench player, I think. We'll bring in the bullpen next inning. And there is another line out. Stark Snail, one for three on the day. And Sebastian Morrow comes in. Not very good ratings here. Oh man, way too early. And now, lifting it over the second baseman's head. That is a single. I wanted to stretch it, but right fielder got there. Maurice Pratt. Look at the mojo. Come on, Pratt. You gotta be feeling better than this. Pratt pulls it deep. It's going back. And is caught right near the wall. So now it's time to put in Eric Hancock for his first appearance of the year and it's popped up on first pitch very very good start to this year for us although we haven't gotten the big runs yet so far we've allowed one run here's that curveball dropping down on the corner and it's strike two on the foul four seamer up and in does that get past Starks? It does. They've had a lot of, like, innings with a hit. They just don't really have innings with multiple hits. And they're not getting the extra base hits, as they do get multiple hits this inning. So now, we're looking for a double play ball from Geronimo. G no. They pinch hit the guy. Here comes Helena Bigsby. Why doesn't she start? Look at those ratings. Gotta be careful here. Very good power and contact. Curveball. Oh my! I wasn't counting on that one. What a pitch by Eric Hancock. And now with two down, there's a single up the middle. Lance throwing home or Flash throwing home. Throw in time and out number three on 65 power. Well done. Okay, Lance. Two for three, 286 average. Can you get your third hit on the day? We'll see. And he lines it to short. I hate hitting liners to short. Corey Boyd up. That's outside. And Boyd grounds it to short. I don't want to hit it anywhere near the shortstop. Maurice Manning now. What can Maurice do with two down? Manning gets it through the infield. Every hit besides that one in here for him has just been a sky ball in the outfield. But now, we have a man on base for Flash Jackson. Come on, Flash. And he pulls it to right, but lazy and out number three. That takes us to the ninth. Trying to win our second game in a row to begin the season. Looking for a shutout. And here is our closer, Andy Beckwith. As Mustachio hits that one in foul territory. Leon trotting toward it. Leon, why didn't you run faster? I don't know what he was doing. Slider away, strike three. Dano Yoshida. Man, Leon, like, for everything right he does every now and then... Like, there's one time an episode where he really upsets me. Up the middle for a base hit. 
So now double play in effect. Looking to end this game, it's Borgnar. Not much speed, not much contact. We're looking for a grounder here. Pitch to contact, please. Or just give him the nasty pitches and get him to strike out looking. Man, that was not good. Two outs, and here we go. Strike two. At least he's swinging at it. Strike three. What was that? Three pitches looking for a strikeout, then three pitches swinging for a strikeout? What a game. B-Wolves win 3-0. Our pitchers are doing fantastic work to start this season. And we have, we're having just enough offense. As a team today, we hit over 300. So you got to be really happy with that. Ten hits, three RBIs, no strikeouts. I did not strike out today, guys. Great second game of the season for us. Give me some open slots on the team, though. Give me some gear broker slots anything no I don't get it that's a good thing to unlock though so we're going to play our third game before some teams even play their first weird schedule here we play three of the first seven games in the league schedule but at least that helps us dominate the league leaders in theory anyway Starks has our best average Leon has our only home run he's also tied for first in ribbies with Starks what else we got here anything cool Strikeouts? Oh, we don't do that much. Those strikeouts, however, we do. All right, great start to the year, guys. 2-0, can we keep it going with Cannon versus Cannon? Are you kidding me? Wow, I just noticed that. Cannon versus Cannon. So who do you think is going to win? Who's going to win game three? Which Cannon will win? Thank you all for watching. That is it for today. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment below any feedback you have and hit that subscribe button. I will see you guys next time. Have a great day.